We're going to use TD Bank as an example, and in the future I hope to use other banks so it can be customized in case you're not a TD Bank customer. So obviously the first thing you do is you want to log in. Now if you don't have online banking, please contact your bank and they can walk you through the process of creating an online account for online banking. If you already do have an account, this is for you. So just left click on login. And then it should take you to a screen where you see, uh, you will either see automatically your access card number uh, or you'll have to enter it in. I have everything automated, but you might not. And you will see things blurred out because, you know, it's my private information. <laughs> so after you enter in your username uh, or access card number, which is your debit card number, and your password, you can either check mark the box that remembers it or not, and then just left click on login. Then it'll take you to your account summary page. And over on the left hand part here, you'll see pay bills. So all you have to do is left click on pay bills. And you'll see I've already got some companies, uh, they're all blurred out, but I've got some companies uh, already listed. So to add a bill or payee as TD Bank calls it, just left click on the button add payee. And, and now you need to enter in the company's name and it's going to search for it. Now if no matter what you can't find the company's name, that's when you call TD Bank and they'll give you the code or name that the bank or sorry that the company actually has because sometimes it's a little bit hard but if I type in for example best buy you can see that there is uh, best buy auto parts and best buy Desjardins I'm not a member of best buy auto parts but I'm going to use this as an example so just left click and then it's going to ask you for your account number and you have to have that of course so if you're not sure what it is and you are a customer of Best Buy Auto Parts, just give them a call. Uh, they probably won't give their account, your account number over the phone, but they'll probably do some emailing and texting back and forth to figure it out. So enter in your account number and just type in next. So I'm going to enter in a non-real account number. Just click next. And then it's going to give you a summary of the payee that you've added and then just click finish. Now you'll notice here that I have an error. That's because I entered in a fake account number for the sake of this tutorial. So it's very important you have a real account number when you're adding a payee. Once you're done, you can go back to this screen. And if you're not sure how to go back to this screen, always use the, I don't know what this is called, but legend or bar on the left hand side and just click on the pay bills. Just left click there. You should see your new account uh, that you've added, your payee that you've added, along with the account number. So when you've done that, just check mark on the left the account you want to send money to and then left click on pay selected payees. You can do more than one, but for this example, I'm just gonna do one. So I'm gonna left click there. And now it's going to ask you which account do you wanna take the money out of? That's very important. If you have a checking and a savings account, a lot of times you, you should check with your bank, but a lot of times it will cost you more money if it comes out of your savings account. So I always choose checking and then I just enter in the amount. Let's just say $100. And frequency, you can do one time, or you can left click on the down arrow and choose recurring. If you choose recurring, then you got all this other information as far as the start date, when do you want it to end, or after so many payments, and you know when, when I cancel this payment. So there's a lot of options here. I'd say explore that. I don't do recurring. I just remind myself every month what bills to pay. So I just choose one time and then you want to click next once you've clicked next it's going to give you a summary of everything so I put in a certain amount it's going to be one time take it out of my account on this date and it's going to be for my checking so read everything over do not rush through paying your bills because you could be paying the wrong bill you could be putting in the wrong amount and all of those things and then just left click on finish and then it should give you a confirmation. If you want to be really diligent, there is a confirmation number right here on the kind of center left screen. And you can write that down in a notebook. I don't need to, this was just a test, I'm all good. 
And that's it. That's all you need to do. If you want to go back to your accounts afterwards, just left click on accounts in the somewhat upper left hand corner of the screen. And if you just wanted to log out in the almost upper right hand corner, there's the log out button. So just right, uh, sorry, left click on the log out button. And you're all done.